let's talk more about the declining situation going on there. And for that, we're going to bring in uh, Moeen Oda. He is a human rights law attorney and PhD candidate at George Mason University. Thanks very much for taking some time to chat with us. I'm sure you had a chance to see uh, all those photos. And it seems pretty clear at this point that the Al-Shifa Hospital is now a flashpoint more than a month into this fighting. What's your understanding of the situation there and this growing humanitarian crisis? Gishon, well, sorry. Well, the situation, as, as uh, your colleague described, is, is really, really uh, bad. The situation is uh, hundreds of uh, patients are under uh, risk, thousands were killed, hundreds, tens of thousands were injured, hundreds of thousands uh, already displaced from their houses, tens of thousands of un housing units are totally destroyed. So the situation is, is un undescribable. Uh, I don't know what Israel is seeking uh, so far in this. They got their revenge. They want, if they wanted revenge, uh, it's clear that they are they are towards uh, a, 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 like a massacre. There, there, what they're doing, a, a genocide uh, against Palestinians, civilian Palestinians. There, uh, what happened in in seventh of October, of course, was very bad. Uh, and uh, but this is uh, totally not justifying what the Israeli army is doing now. Uh, the hospitals, uh, as described, are, are under a big threat, uh, and uh, it's not clear what is really they are looking for now in, in Shifa Hospital. Are you surprised that with the growing international cries, including those coming from the United Nations, for some kind of pause, some ceasefire to get innocent civilians out? Because the situation Al Shifa is grim, but so many people are being injured, they're being treated in the streets. And the Red Crescent today said the Al Quds Hospital, another facility in Gaza, has just shut down. It is out of service now. Well, actually, uh, I think many uh, human rights attorneys and many uh, human rights activi activists even hope that these criticism will come. Uh, much more sooner than like after 35 or 37 days of war, but uh, the positive thing it's it's came already now. I think it's it's very important that all of these uh, uh, bodies, the UN uh, and other uh, uh, bodies, are keeping criticizing and pushing towards a ceasefire, because it's 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 uh, it's it's the, their job to stop all of this and to take to take care of the civilians who are really suffering inside Gaza. Two million people are suffering in Gaza yeah. on daily basis. They used to suffer before this years and years, and now they are really, really suffering, and they need uh, as much help as possible from all the sides. Now, Israel and the United States are both indicating that a hostage deal could be close, could be in the works. However, NBC, a broadcast uh, network here in the United States, is reporting that Netanyahu offered fuel for al-Shifa, but Hamas rejected that. And uh, published reports also say Hamas has ended discussions uh, on any kind of hostage deal after fierce fighting around the hospital. What's your understanding? Well, for the fuel, I don't have any comments. I don't know what's happening on the ground, how hard it is. It's true. It's not true. You know, every slide is telling his, his own story from, from that point. Uh, for, the, for the hostages, I believe, also I, I read uh, similarly that they start, Hamas stopped the talkings about this. I believe it's very important for the, the international community to, to keep pressuring both sides for peace ceasefire, for exchanging hostages, and to stop this uh, genocide as soon as possible. And, and quickly, Israel says any ceasefire agreement is contingent on a release of all hostages. But we now have word that Israel cannot confirm how many hostages are still alive. What are your thoughts on that, and what does it do to this process to silence the guns and the bombing? Well, it's clear that Israel will not give Hamas any any uh, victory uh, picture. After, they will not release any Palestinian prisoners uh, on behalf of the hostages. Uh, but it's uh, again, it's not clear, as you said, how many how many ho Israeli hostages were there, how many are still alive, and what's happening there. Hamas, at the, from their point of view, they want to get prisoners outside of of uh, the Israeli uh, prisons and jails. Uh, hopefully this will start, like they will get a mm -hmm. deal as soon as possible, they will get a ceasefire because at the end of the day it's civilians who are suffering on daily basis because of this war. Okay. Moedin Oda, uh, human rights attorney here uh, in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir.